So, Zach. Yes. What's going on with Zach? Zach. Zach is just a good guy. And he makes me laugh, and he makes me, like, happy, and he makes me, like, excited. Like, it's just, like, all the things. It's all the things. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how, how, how do you, uh, I even hate saying it. <laughs> do you see you guys? I'll say about an 8.95, sure. only because you guys are important to me, and I want you guys to be able to, like, I want to see, like, how you guys okay. mash, right? Mm -hmm. If it doesn't feel right, I'm not going to just get engaged just to get engaged. No, like, I, I'm really confident in it. There's no rush. Dad, we get it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Just say it. <laughs> I know. You know. Just say it. So um, I'm thinking, you know, she um, she got hurt before, mm -hmm. and our family will do anything to protect her. Do you love Tasha? I do. Have you told her? I have. So I told her the other night. We were on a date, and I was nervous. Mm -hmm. But I was able to tell her that I love her, and she said it back. So it was a beautiful moment mm -hmm. for both of us. And the feeling has not changed. It just gets stronger every time I see her, honestly. Um, where do you see yourself and Tasha five years from now? <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> I see us married. And I see us happy. And I see us still madly in love with each other and falling more in love with each other each and every day. Nice. And I see us starting a family. That's what I see. I like that. No family wants to see someone they love be hurt. So what I hope to convey to her parents is how I feel about Tasha and how she makes me feel. I hope they see that we're in love. You've, you've been in love before. Right. I mean, I was, I was married back in 2009. I was okay. 24, 25 years old when I got married. It lasted a year and a half, two years. I was partying a bunch of the time. I was just like, you know, not ready for it. I was in my 20s, and I didn't really understand what marriage was. Hopefully, as we all get older in life, one takes note right, and learns from what has happened in the past because the same thing could easily happen again. Yeah. And that's what I'm looking at for her at this point. I don't want it to be a test. I don't want you guys to just to wing it and see if we can make it work. I hear exactly what you're saying. And what I've had to really look at is when all this goes away, you know, and it's just me and her, life is not always easy. Mm -hmm. Supporting each other through these tough times is actually what I look forward to. We had this beautiful conversation the other night. We were talking about family. She, you came up and she said, you know, my dad has always been my rock. He's been tough on me at times, like dads can be, but she went on to kind of tell me how you gave her this life. You put her through private school. You gave her these opportunities. Mm -hmm. You may be in over your head at times, but you did it because you loved her. Yep. And she made it very clear to me that that's what she's looking for. The expectations are going to be up here because you set them really high. You set them really high. And I need you to know that that doesn't scare me. It actually excites me, you know? But I tell you that because I might have an opportunity to propose to your daughter in the very near future. And I take that very seriously. I know what that means. I know what that represents. Absolutely. And I'm not going to do that unless I am so sure, which I am right now, sitting here in this moment, that it's the right thing to do. Because I am committed to what that means on the back end. I appreciate that. I like Zach. He, he's a good man. He's a good man. You know, just to see another man love my daughter the way that he expressed himself made me be at ease. And so I'm looking forward to, to see what may come about, you know, moving forward.